In terms of treatment of mesothelioma, your medical oncologist will walk through all the potential therapies that are available, and there are a lot, which is why you really need an expert. Most patients won't be eligible for surgery because the disease has spread beyond the area that can be removed surgically. In general, what surgeons want to see is that the disease is limited to just one side of the chest. The second thing is that they want to make sure that the patient is healthy enough to tolerate surgery. Now that surgery can be as small as removing a small area of cancer around the lining of the lung to removing the entire lung itself. And it's a big decision to decide whether surgery is a good option. If a patient is going to undergo treatment for mesothelioma, the most common treatment really is chemotherapy. And there are a variety of options for chemotherapy that your medical oncologist will discuss with you. The type of chemotherapy that is used for mesothelioma typically does come with some of those side effects that patients tend to worry about, including hair loss, nausea, vomiting. Now your medical oncologist can talk to you about the dosing and the frequency and how to manage those side effects. And one thing many patients don't realize is how much better we are at managing side effects now than we were 10, 20 years ago. New research is looking at even more novel ways to treat mesothelioma and of late immunotherapy is one of the most promising new treatment approaches. And so there is hope that it might have a role in mesothelioma. The shift to a focus on palliative or comfort care can be really life-changing because all of a sudden now, they are getting care to help them live their life and interact with their loved ones and do the things that they want to do. And in fact, this often surprises people, but palliative care sometimes can make patients live longer. And so this isn't necessarily a choice to, to give up, it's really a choice to focus on living.